Hey friends, here's five tips to make your life easier in Ableton Live. So first tip is grouping things together. So if you like to layer vocals like me, you might have a lot of audio tracks on the page. Now you can highlight them, minimize them like this together, but still that's quite a lot. So what we can do is highlight, click on the first one, hold shift, right click and press group tracks or use the shortcut on a Mac, which is command G on Windows, which is control G. Boom, easy. Then we can press command R to rename BV, then tucks away nice and tidy. Now, another good thing about groups is that it acts as a routing folder. So then it's almost like a send and return. All those audio files go through that one folder so you can group process things. So what I mean by that is if you click here, click on one of the vocals, you can see the output goes to BV, which goes to BV and goes to master. So you could put a EQ and it EQs all those in the folder. So that will save up on your CPU. Also, if you use reverbs and delays, that will unify the sound together. So groups are a super useful tool for making your life easier, Ableton Live. Next tool is time-based shortcuts. So if you're in Ableton Live here and you're in a range view and you want to duplicate this here, if you press Command Shift D, that would duplicate all the automation, everything, the time and shift everything behind it along. So if I do it here as well, if I go and click this here, so I want to duplicate this, Command Shift D pushes all that along. Fantastic. Now, if you want to get rid of it, Command Shift D it deletes it and shifts everything along. Now, if you wanted to say, get this section here and put it afterwards, highlight all that, Command C, and we go here, top paste, Command Shift V, and that will paste the time. Okay, so it's essentially your cut, copy, paste, and delete but shifts in there. And that basically does it to time and that will save you loads of time moving things around in a range view. So try that, that will make your life so much easier in Ableton Live's arrange view. Next one is saving presets. So if you have these four audio effects here and you're using them again and again, and you open up a new session and you're still doing them, it can be quite laborious changing all those dials. So if you click on this first one here, hold shift, press command G or control G on Windows, that puts it into an audio effects rep. You can then go up here and rename it as FX and click on the save dial here, and that will save it in your user library, presets, and then under audio effects recs. Then you can open up a new session and drag that in. So it could be a hundred plugins in there or even two or even one. If you just have a magic setting on a plugin, it's great that you can pull it into other sessions and it saves you time and makes your life easier in Ableton Live. Next thing is making shortcuts to folders on your computer. So if you have a folder that you keep opening up to drag files into, I can find a folder, I can click and drag it to where it says add folder and let go and it will create a shortcut to it within Ableton Live and I can preview all my files and they will adhere to the warping algorithm. Next tip is saving templates. If you get a track that's sounding really good and you think this is fantastic, delete all the audio from it. Then if you go file, save as template. What that would do is it will then save to this area here, template. And Ableton Live has a bunch of them here. So if I click on this one, it will open up something like this where there is pre-made channel strips and audio routines ready to go. So this is great for if you like mixing or if you like tracking with different kind of inputs and outputs. This is just saving you and making your life so much easier. I hope these tips helped and they ultimately make your life a lot easier in Ableton Live. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me build this channel and hopefully I'll see you again here real soon.